Hey John, we're in pursuit of a aircraft. We're going southbound lanes of runway 21. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me on today's patrol. We're gonna be out here at Los Santos International Airport. Really do enjoy patrolling out here, near the runway and also around the gates. We're gonna be looking for anything abnormal, uh, anybody that's uh, maybe left uh, bags unattended and also maybe some traffic infractions, just your normal plane hijacking, things like that. We are all set with our uniform here, guys. We are official. Los Santos International Airport Police. We're going to go ahead and get started on patrol. Thank you guys for destroying the hell of that like button. Every single episode, guys, we're getting over a consistent 150 likes to 200 likes per episode. We're back in patrol on Los Santos International Airport. And be sure to stay tuned for the blooper reel at the end. Why is there always got to be a blooper reel every single video? <laughs> It seems that way anyway. I decided to start doing that it's just kind of give you guys something to kind of laugh at me a little bit, you know, at the end of the video. And then some of you people, some people may relate. So stick around for that. We've got a suspicious person in Los Santos International Airport. Okay. Good giant responding code too. Roger. Okay, so they got a 911 call by the flight attendants saying they have a possible intoxicated pilot. So what we're going to do is, I tell you what, I think he's going to be actually near the runway getting ready to board. So we need to have a talk with this pilot. If he's intoxicated, we can't allow him to fly. Especially if, even if he's acting a little erratic. Can you open the door? Can you open the gate, please? Open the gate, man. You're shady, you know that? You're shady. Go back to your minimum wage paying job. Alright, we are going to whip on our emergency lights out here. Because we don't want to interfere with, you know, planes landing out here. Oh, that's nice, officer. <laughs> Johnny's doing donuts out here. Okay, we do have the pilot, I think, spotted back over here. So we are going to go on the runway, which we have to be very careful. I think he's going to be right down this way. Okay, we do have a pilot standing right there, but we also have some flight attendants over here. I think they're the ones that called 911. So let's go ahead and talk to the flight attendants. Three John, show me on scene, 1023. 10-4. I don't understand people. I know. Deep in debt. If you don't have the money, don't buy. That's what I'm saying. Hello, ma'am. Ladies. Hello there. Did you call uh, about the pilot? Says, yes, we did. We were really concerned about him, please. Okay, I'll go check him out. Thank you, officer. Sorry, I don't really do a good female I voice. Okay, let's go have He's a talk with this pilot. I think he's right over here. Yeah, let's talk to him. Not sure which plane he was deciding to board. Imagine there's one going to be pulling up here shortly or something. Okay, let's talk to this pilot right here. Hello, sir. Have you had, uh, have you drank any alcohol recently? It says, do, do you seriously think I, I'm drunk? Do you get permission to a breathalyzer or a drugalyzer test? Sure, sure thing. All right, we're going to go ahead and test him for narcotics. I think I'm about to do it this way. 
All right, sir. Since you gave us permission, uh, we're, we are detecting a very strong odor of alcohol. All right, sir. Go ahead and perform this test. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. All right. Oh, my goodness. Sir, you failed 0.108%. You're over that legal limit. Now, just for grins, we're also going to do a, a drug swab as well, sir. Okay, it's the fastest drug swab in the West. And, uh, yeah, he's positive to THC, otherwise known as Mary Jane, marijuana, the evil weed. That's right. All right, sir, and just for grins, I think what you may do. Sir, you done all right? Guys, he literally just, like, passed out. All right, guys, watch the blooper reels at the end of the episode, okay? All right, you doing all right, sir? I guess we're going to get a, an ambulance in here. <laughs> Requesting ambulance. 10 4 3 John 21. Ambulance. Assistance required in Los Angeles okay. International. Yeah, he just passed out right in front of me because, you know, he's just so uh, drunk. Also got marijuana in his system, too. I'm going to be switching out my ambulance as soon uh, to uh, Chevy. He's one of my patrons. He had done a new ambulance. So, Chevy, I'll be doing that oh, real soon, buddy. Worse. Chevy did a whole livery and stuff. Really nice. I already saw it. So, we'll be adding that to our ELS. Uh, I should say our EMS. And that'll be coming out soon in a future episode. Yeah, he may be... Uh, he may need CPR, man. All right, good. He's alive. Whoa! Whew. Man, that was a close one. Sir, are you okay? Do you remember anything? You don't remember me hitting you by accident? Holy I mean, uh, shit. passing out in front of me? Okay. Try not to file a report anytime soon. All right, ladies. I took care of him. I mean, um, he's being taken care of. Thank you. Thank you, Officer Benzo. Oh, you're welcome. See, he's okay. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the gates. We're just kind of patrolling around the actual runways. We've got a suspicious person. Santos International Airport. Can I get a unit started on this? Three John, I'll take that. Code two. Ten four, copy that. Three John twenty one. Okay, we're heading this way. We got a, a person that's referred to as a plane spotter, and this is a a real life thing. I don't know if they're really called plane spotters. To be honest, I'd be lying if I said I I knew. But there's a lot of people that like to videotape planes taking off and landing and uh, it's actually really fascinating uh, we've got a lot of areas out here in Dallas Fort Worth that you could actually do that but uh, you have to be really careful getting close to certain areas of the airport especially after 9-11 and all that and then absolutely no laser pointing or anything like that I mean, that can get you gelled really fast that's a felony there Okay, so we have a gentleman, either a man or a lady, I think it's going to be a male, that was located right outside our gate over here. Here he is, over here. Yeah, that's him. He's referred to as a plane spotter, so. Hey John, show me 1023. We're going to be a place... Hello, sir. Officer Benzo, Los Santos County International Airport. Hello, sir. So what you doing out here today? This is uh, just watching some planes. You like watching planes? Uh, there ain't nothing wrong with that. 
Uh, just because of 9-11, we do have some higher security risk, and, you know, that's all. When, when we have people standing too close, we have to be real careful. Just make sure everything's all right. Okay. All right, and uh, so the conversation technically is over, but I would go for it a little bit more and uh, violate his rights more. <laughs> you don't have to do this, but hey, this is a video game, guys. I'm going to go ahead and ask for his ID. Can I get your ID, please? Just for our records. Thank you. This is Alfonso Vinci. Hey, John, can you uh, give me a 27 on Alfonso Vinci? It's going to be 5676, please. Roger that. All right, let's see what the dispatch shows. Okay, he doesn't have any warrants or anything like that. I'm not going to even write him a citation. All right, sir. You have a good day. You can either stay here or you can uh, watch some planes. I don't really mind. Just be careful. Make sure you don't go through that gate right there. All right, take care. Thanks. That's the way I think it should be handled, right? I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with asking for his ID. And see, that gate really should be locked, but I know it's a game still, but, you know. It'd be kind of cool if I could lock it. Love patrolling out here. It's so awesome. We've got a suspicious what? person in Los Santos International Airport. Dangerous plane spotter now. Can I get a unit started on this? John, I'll head that way. We just uh, had confrontation with another gentleman out there. He seemed to be friendly, but uh, we'll head that way, Code 2. Roger. Okay, we're going to be going Code 2. The guy seemed friendly. I wonder if it's the same guy. It has to be the same guy. We were just there. Same exact location, too. Okay, I think we're just going to have to deal with him. That's what I get for being nice. Reading such a blooper reel, it's crazy. Stick around to the end. Yep, it's that same guy. Sir, I asked you, why are you. You will not fall back, repeat. You will not fall back. Okay, Hey John, we got an active 1070 going northbound right outside the airport. 10 4, copy that. Stop, you're gonna get taste. You're gonna get taste. You're gonna get taste. Stop. Sir. Last warning. How did I miss that? Right in the ass. All right, sir. This is for me missing my last taste. All right, get your hands up, man. Hands up. Face down, all the way in the ground, right now. All the way down. Stay right there. Do not move. And stay just like that. All right, what is your deal, man? What is your deal? Didn't we have a conversation just a minute ago? You're acting all friendly, huh? All right, what do you have on you? Nothing's gonna poke me, state me, harm me anyway. And then what we're gonna do is get him to our vehicle. And then we'll code for this in just a minute. If you ever do these kind of calls, it's always advisable to not code for it technically until you get to a good safe area because it can crash your game. So let's get him over to our vehicle. Requesting transport. Backup required in Los Santos International Airport. Stay right there. Let's do a rest report as well. He's gonna take him, but I want to do a rest report on this guy. You dickwad! 
Okay, what is he? Strong arm felony? Evading arrest? Oh, go figure. Okay, let's do your quick arrest report real fast. I, try, I told you guys I want to try to do this at least once. Um, I'm going to say resisting arrest. Okay, there's only a couple things I can think of. Maybe you guys can help me out. Um, we're going to go ahead and say unlawful assembly, even though, you know, he was just right outside the gates and stuff, but I'm not sure exactly what he was doing. So we're going to go ahead and go with that, and then how about maybe disturbing the peace or something like that? Anybody out there? I know George is a law enforcement officer. He's one of my patrons and also a member of the Benzo Effect channel. Maybe you can kind of guide me as to what other things we can do. I will say disturbing the peace. There's all kinds of FAA rules that he broke. I'm not sure exactly what he did, though, to be honest. All right, we're going to go ahead and save that. And then let's look at his court case. Here, let's go ahead and look at his court case now. And this is him technically right here. And I think we do insert. Go ahead and have it. Okay. And then... We'll see what his results are. Four years in prison. Okay. And I'm sure there's other things, to be honest, that we could have hit him with. Maybe you guys could have let me know. But the thing is, we don't know exactly what he did. You know what I mean? I'm sure he, he maybe broke some FAA guidelines. That is the, what is that, the Federal Aviation Administration, I do believe. Okay, we're just kind of waiting for another call out here at the airport. Reported in Los Santos International Airport. Can I get a unit started on this? Three John responding, code three. Ten four three John twenty one. Okay, we have somebody out here with the gun. Supposedly gunfire out here as well. We're probably gonna get some code three back up. Cause that's what I would do if I was an officer in real life. Okay, we're going to be right out here. I'm trying to see if I see anybody. Okay, I think I may have I may see somebody over there. Like up against the wall, they may have an automatic rifle. Okay, I'm just going to let's go ahead and get some code 3 backup. Requesting code 3 backup. Assistance needed on New Empire Way. Okay, we got code three backup coming. Here, let's do this. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna go with the shotgun. Yeah, she's right there. She's got a weapon in her hand. Three John, we're on scene 1023. We have a female, white in color, and she's right on New Empire Way. She's got an automatic rifle in her hand. 10 4, copy that. Let's go ahead and get some SWAT in here as well. Let's get, um, let's just get SWAT. Backup needed on New Empire Way. I mean, hell, if we're out here at the airport. Let's go ahead and hit that panic button too while we're at it too, right? Because she's probably going to open fire on us if we get a little closer. Okay, let's see. Hopefully she won't. Ma'am, put down the gun. Put it down. Ma'am, put down the gun. Oh man, she's uh, she's got another rifle. How, sh how does she have two? <laughs> Don't make me use it. Oh, he stunned her. Okay, is she resisting arrest? Are you resisting? <laughs> she does have her weapon. It's still in her hand. Don't move. Do not move. All right, keep her keep her guarded there. I got her. 
Hey John, we have 10, 15 times one. 10, 4, 3, John, 21. All right, I was thinking we may have to get, you know, uh, like panic button in here, but she didn't shoot the gun, so. That's my SWAT team right there. It's pretty cool. All right, I'll tell you what. Now, let's get a, uh, first of all, let's get a 27 on her. Hey, John, let's get a 27, please. It's going to be on a Sarah Lejeune. 729.73. She has no warrants or anything. Okay, let's get a local female officer out here. So can pat her down. That way they can pat her down. I'm really liking the SWAT uniforms. It's from the emergency uniform pack, I do believe. Yeah. Okay, we do have a female officer coming, so they can pat her down. They'll be here in just a second. Okay, I think they're coming now. Okay, here she is. I'm gonna have her, Don't hopefully, hopefully she'll pat them down. Let's see if she'll pat them down. I'm trying to uh, allow the female to pat her down. Okay, well I'll try to get the uh, female officer here to pat him down, but it's not giving me that option. So to those that leave comments down below saying, you know, she get a female this or that, sometimes the game just doesn't want to respond. Ma'am, you got a pencil. You realize that? Do you realize what we do to people that have pencils in their pockets? <laughs> Stick around to Benzo's live stream and find out later, Mel. Yeah, we actually do punish people for pencils in live streams. <laughs> Be sure to check me out later on that. All right, let's go ahead and get her picked up here. Hey, John, requesting a transport. Okay, at least the officer, the female officer, is taking her. Hey, John, we're going to be code four. Roger that. All right, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Now I gotta find my vehicle. There's so many vehicles over here. I think mine's over here. Yes, the Vic. Yeah, right here. We've got a wild animal on airport. What? That is weird. Can I get a unit started on this? Hey John, I'll take that. Ten four, copy that. Three John twenty one. Okay, they have a wild animal out here on the runway. It's interesting. Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's just go back around. We'll go back towards the runway. We're going to cut around, and we're going to go right through that gate over there. And then we'll go out to the runway. Okay, we're right here on the runway. And I wonder what kind of animal this is. I haven't done this call. Make sure nobody's landing on me. Yeah, we're good. Okay, supposedly it's going to be down at the very end of the runway. So I wonder what kind of animal this is going to be. Should be interesting. Okay, let's see. What is this? Oh, uh, what the hell? A wild boar? There's a wild boar out here, guys. I don't know. Will this thing attack me if I get out? Subdue the animal. Okay, can I stun it? Uh, three John, we're on scene. We're out here at the end of the runway. We got a wild boar out here. 
the, the car to animal control, please. Roger that. All right, let's just stun it. I'd rather do that. Come on, man. Okay, let's just try to... Hey, stop. Let's go ahead and call animal control. Requesting animal control. Backup required in Los Santos International. Okay. We do have... Yes, Benzo is chasing after a wild boar on the runway. Stop. <laughs> stop right there, buddy. Okay, here comes the animal control. Stop, man. I'm sorry, man. I have to do this. Stop right there. Don't move. Just stay. Okay. Oh, they um, they hit it with a tranquilizer gun. I called in animal control and they hit it with a tranquilizer gun. I know it looked like I killed it, but I didn't. Okay. He got it. That was interesting. It said subdue the animal. I thought that like I had to like tase it or something. I don't know. All right, so he's going to be taking that. He says, we'll take care of this animal. Thanks. All right, see. He hit it with that uh, tranquilizer gun from way out here. It's pretty good. That's probably the idiot, you know, chasing after him when he could have gouged me like Robert Baratheon from Game of Thrones. Just saying. Why did you leave the boar? <laughs> it's right there. Oh my gosh. Hey, sir, you left your boar out here. <laughs> oh, I need. That reminds me, I'm kind of hungry for some bacon right now. We have a. Um, possible in Los Santos International. Oh, we got an aircraft uh, being trying to get stolen here. Can I get a unit started on this? Three, John, copy that. Responding code three. Okay, they have an aircraft that is, uh, somebody's attempting to steal it. Grand Theft Aircraft. That's right. Supposedly you're over here. Hey! Let me through, man. Look at that shit. Okay, we got Weasel News already out of here. Oh, it's right here. Says attention all units, we have an update on the one suspect. The suspect does not have a license, okay? Oh my goodness. Three John, we're in pursuit of a aircraft. We're going southbound lanes of runway 21. Roger. Requesting pursuit backup. He just ran off. Free John, we got an active 1070 going southbound, maneuvering area right next to your runway 21. It's going to be a white male with a red cap. Actually, a helmet. Stop, man. You're going to get taste. You're going to get taste from the window. You're going to make me miss my taste. <laughs> Stop. Stop right there. Stop. Right there. Okay, we got a couple of deputies here. You're really going to mess with the IAA? What is this guy, this dep... What the hell? Look at this deputy's, um... Why don't you cool the hell out, asshole? Oh, this is IAA, so these are special agents. Why does your head look like, um, one of the Blue Man group? Except you're... Psychedelic, man. I should be saying that to you. What the hell am I looking at? Look at this guy's head. It's like he's at a rave or something. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my gosh. Look, it's like red, it's black, it's... <laughs> oh god. Oh my gosh. 
Hey, Ray boy, can you pat him down, please? Thanks. What the hell am I looking at, guys? This is crazy. Even his gun is changing colors. George uh, Shock. All right, let's do a quick um, pet check on him. Dijon, can I get a 1027 on a George Shock? It's going to be 51075, please. Common spelling. Roger, 3, John, 21. All right, let's see what he's got on him, guys. No warrants. What? I just so weirded out by this uh, IAA agent right next to me. I mean, his face is just like distorting to all these different colors. I'm sure I need to replace the model. This is really weird. I don't think I even touched the models. Okay, let's go ahead and get him transported. How are you? I don't know. I think I'm hallucinating. So I don't know if you're black, you're red, you're white. It's like a Michael Jackson song. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. Stick around for bloopers, guys. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and end our episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's Airport Patrol. We'll do another one if you get enough likes in here. And I really do appreciate all the likes lately on the channel. You guys have been really rocking it out. And thank you to the patrons and the members of the Benzoy Effect channel. You guys are awesome. If you'd like to become a member and get episodes released early to you, be sure to hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, and then you can watch episodes early. Thank you guys so much for the support. You guys take care, and we'll see you on the next patrol. Stay safe. Thank you for joining my blooper reel again. I did not mean to press R. <laughs> God dang it. Son of a... Jeez. Okay, we'll have to roleplay this out. Okay, what happened? Um, he's drunk and he passed out. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, now to edit. Okay, here's the fire truck. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. <laughs> that's so lovely. <laughs> oh, God. Can we get EMS for EMS? Thank you. Here comes another. Oh, that's just lovely. Since you're gonna be on my blooper reel anyway, let's see how long you can hold your breath. Okay. All right, it'll be all right, old timer. It'll be okay. There we go. <laughs> we're about to get taste. Get down. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Son of a bitch. What the hell? How did I end up on here? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm in a pickle. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for watching today's bloopers. Control to COD 3, 4R, car 18. COD 3, 4R, car 18. Receiving a call for an armed robbery. At the 711, 750 Mass Ave. Firearm shown. Stand by for further.